Now, the CBS 21 Political Insiders with Rob Hanrahan. All right, Tom, thanks. Welcome back. We're joined now by our political insiders, Republican strategist Charlie Giroux here, of course, and Democratic strategist Mark Singel. And guys, two major cases that everybody's been following closely uh, came to an end this afternoon. The first involving Paul Manafort, found guilty on eight of 18 counts. Um, I'll, i got to ask you, Charlie, this happened, and also Michael Cohen pleading guilty <clears throat> um, to uh, several charges, campaign finance, bank fraud, tax evasion charges. Both of these cases at the same time. Meantime, the president is on a plane on his way to West Virginia. What do you think his reaction is going to be? My sense is that the folks in West Virginia will be focused on anything but Paul Manafort. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of discussion tonight <clears throat> in West Virginia about an alleged illegal immigrant allegedly killing a young woman in Iowa. I think that will be the focus of this discussion tonight. Manafort's going to jail. Club Fed isn't even a fun place to be. That's going to be a tough road for him to hoe. Didn't have anything to do with the Trump campaign, all of the alleged behavior now of which he's been convicted occurring long before he took over with Trump. The Cohen thing, a little bit more problematic, but again there, an issue that got John Edwards jammed up, you know, payments right. to women over uh, campaign cover-ups. Big question, though, of both law and fact as to whether or not the circumstances are similar with Trump and Cohen. Mark. Well, I think Charlie is understating the importance of this. This is a very bad day for the President of the United States, and it's a very bad day for the United States of America, because in both of these cases, there are direct connections to the White House. Paul Manafort was the campaign chairman, and this is a guy that now clearly has been found guilty of taking tens of millions of dollars from Russia. He was in the room at the meeting. He was there at the convention when he manipulated the platform in order to give a better favorable deal to the Russians. So there's a connection there. With regard to Michael Cohen, if you look at the seventh and eighth counts to which he pled guilty today, he specifically says it was at the direction of the candidate, the candidate pointing directly to Donald Trump. So in the par parlance of uh, Watergate, we now know that the president is probably an unindicted co-conspirator. Mark, Mark Wax is much more professorial on lawyer stuff than I do, but that's really a stretch. <laughs> the debate always continues. <laughs> Sunday mornings at 8.30, join us for Face the State.